So people do need to realise when it comes to guys like these, certain things in certain service sell more than others. Some things are less and well, some things are just more. Some things are just atrociously over the top, what people are asking for. So firstly, if I were you, head to your local trading post and search for items I'm covering within the guys to come to see if it's truly worth your time. Now these guys ain't just fruit and veg, they're for other resources too. So don't worry if you're thinking that you're doomed here with the veg on your server just selling for peanuts because it will bring you many many other farms also. So one of these will truly make you a profit. Now for me, Everfall is by far the busiest outpost when it comes to trading, probably because it's basically centre of the map. So head to your busiest uh, outpost and check the prices there. Now like I said, there are those certain items that will make you a decent profit. Some take much, much longer to farm and craft though like star metal ingots or arikalkum gear. Or they could require you to be a certain level in something. Now most of my guys are going to avoid all of that. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So today people, we are farming herbs. Now I know it seems a little silly, but in actual fact, herbs can turn over a great, great profit. And this is because herbs are actually pretty rare items and are needed in many, many recipes out there. Also the fact certain herbs are exclusive to certain areas and because the ones we want don't drop every single time from herbs, they do fetch a lot of money because like I said, the rich folks out there can't be bothered to farm them. So the herbs we are farming today are peppercorn, oregano and paprika. Now one of the areas, and in my opinion the best areas to farm these, is Monarch's Bluff. But before we head into this guys, like I said, check your trading outposts and see if they're worth your time even farming. If they don't sell for a decent profit, I'd ignore them. So on screen now you can see where I'm at on the map, this spot right here is full of herbs. So head here and farm away guys. Don't forget use those boosters if you have them which help you out while harvesting. That's harvesting luck on your gear, your armour, a uh, luck on your sickle or any form of cooked corn. Now when it comes to selling the items you have gathered from these guides, what I will say is uh, obviously you want to undercut people by as minimal as possible but you also want to check recent buy orders, what they've recently sold for. If they're sold for way less than what people are asking for, I'd probably go halfway in between. Because you got to remember, items don't always sell for the price people are actually asking for. They clearly sell for what people have brought them for already. Now there can be a situation where you'll see some of these items may have actually not sold yet, but people do have them up for sale. That's where I normally undercut them by a couple of quid maybe. And if you notice they fly out like that, then you know the range to sell them for in the future. That's the way I work it anyway and it's the way I've been selling tons of things since moving server because my first server was kind of dead. But now I've gone to a pretty populated server, I have no problem whatsoever selling the items I'm showcasing to you guys within these guides. But yes, I hope this helps you out guys. I hope you earn some gold doing this and I hope to see you on the next video.